Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. This video shows you what to do if you can't get on with the new Windows 11 dynamic context menu. Now, as you can see here, I've right clicked on a file and this gives you like a cut down version of the menu where you had copy, paste, cut and all that. You've got these symbols up here now. So you've got there, there you go. Cut, copy, rename, share or bin. And uh, like I say, if you want the full menu, then you can just click on this show more options here and it brings it back. But you might not want that. You might want to have the classic menu come up all the time. So how do you do that? So best thing to do is hold down the Windows key. The Windows key is on the bottom row of keys on your keyboard, usually between the Control or CTRL key and the ALT key. It's usually denoted by a Windows flag. Then tap R. R for Romeo on the keyboard. And there you go, you should see a run box come up. Now, if there's anything in that run box, just get rid of it, delete it, and then type in there, Reg Edit, then click on OK. Then the screen should darken and it should say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as the verified publisher is Microsoft Windows and it says Registry Editor above, then it's OK to move your mouse over Yes and left click. OK, so we need to navigate to this key. So click on the arrow just to the left of H key underscore current underscore user. Then click on the arrow just next to software. Then click on the arrow just to the left of classes and then scroll down and we need to find CLSID. That's CLSID. That's going to be a little way around there. There you go, just there. So click on the arrow just next to CLSID. SID. Then we need to right click on CLSID just there and then go to new and then go across to key. OK, and you need to create a key called. So this is open parenthesis like this. OK, 86CA1AA0-34 AA hyphen 4E8 B hyphen A509 hyphen 50 C905 B A E 2 A2 and then close the parentheses like that. So, OK, I will put this in the description of the video so that if you need to, you can copy and paste it. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. OK, and then right click on the key that you've just created and go to new and then key and then call the key I N P R O C. That's with a capital I, by the way. Capital S, small E R V E R 32. OK, so that's Improc Server 32 with a capital I and a capital S. Once you've created that, press the Enter or Return key on your keyboard, then click once on it and then double left click on default there and make sure the value data is blank. So there's nothing in there. Then click on OK. And you'll know that um, you've done this part correctly because under data it would have said value not set originally now that should be blank so there's nothing in there okay so close the registry editor by clicking on the cross up there close everything else down okay and then we want to reboot the computer or restart the computer so so click on the start button then click on the power icon and make sure that you click restart do not click shut down we want to do a restart so click restart and let's wait for the computer now to restart OK, so the computer's now booting up. Hopefully shouldn't be too long. OK, so Windows is booted up. So let's give it a test. Let's go into File Explorer, that yellow folder at the bottom of the screen, and then go into Downloads. And let's right click on a file in Downloads and see what comes up. There you go. There's the old classic context menu. And that works all throughout the system as well. So if I was to go into the main desktop there and right click, there you go, the old classic context menu. Now, what happens if you don't like it? What happens if you want to put it back to the Windows 11 
context menu. Then again, all you do is press and hold the Windows key, the Windows key in the bottom row of keys on your keyboards between the CTRL key and the ALT key and press the letter R, R for Romeo. Let go of the Windows key, type in the box there, regedit, click on OK, click on yes when this comes up and then go down and find that registry key that you uh, created earlier and all you've got to do is delete this Inproc Server 32. So make sure it's the one below 86CA1AA0-34AA-4E8B5. hyphen 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 BAE2A2. So make sure it's below that one. Click the right mouse button over Inproc Server 32 and then click Delete. And it will say, are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys? Move your mouse over, yes. Left click once. Come out of registry editor by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. If I right click now, there you go. We're back to the normal Windows 11 context menu. So there you go. That guide showed you how to change the context menu in Windows 11 back to the classic one as used in Windows 10. If you like this video, then don't forget to hit that like button. If you think your friends, family, or work colleagues might like this video, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. Also, if you haven't done so already and you wanna find out about my latest video releases, then please click that subscribe button. Hope this guide helps, and thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, at CWTech. That's at CW Tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.